Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows Copilot has finally made its way into preview, which means it's now officially been tested and rolled out to the Dev Channel Insiders this week on the 29th of June, and that's with the latest dev build 23493. Now, as I have been posting, Microsoft introduced us to Windows Copilot for Windows 11 back in May at their build 2023 conference. And unlike um, the Copilot that we saw from the uh, build 2023 conference, if we just head over to a screenshot from this week's Dev Channel build, Copilot uh, at this stage doesn't have all the features that Microsoft introduced us to at their build 2023 conference. But nonetheless, um, it is still early days. And um, because it's now officially been tested in the Dev Channel, uh, means now that obviously Microsoft will start um, working on this feature, which, um, as I have mentioned, uh, should be rolling out later this year with the 23H2 feature update for Windows 11. Now, currently, Copilot uh, in the Dev Channel is on a controlled feature rollout. So not all Dev Channel insiders are seeing the feature. And this first preview, according to Microsoft, focuses on integrated UR and the UR experience. So at this stage, it's mainly... Uh, focusing on being integrated into the actual Windows 11 user interface in the Dev Channel. And Microsoft also says with additional functionality coming down the road in future uh, previews. So obviously, um, as they start testing this, they will start adding more features uh, in the Insider program uh, in the future. Now, just take note that to use Copilot uh, in this flat build 23493, uh, you must have Windows build 23493 or higher in the Dev Channel and Microsoft Edge version 115.0.1901.150 or higher. And that's also a preview version of Edge because as I've mentioned previously, Copilot is basically a web container that is integrated into the actual Windows 11's desktop. Now, um, how this is all going to work, um, to get started, apparently Microsoft says you just click on the little button here, the Copilot button, uh, on the taskbar, or you can use Win and C to launch Windows Copilot um, from your actual keyboard. And Windows Copilot will use the same Microsoft account or Azure Active Directory account used uh, to sign into Windows. So just take note of that. Now, um, as I have been posting, Windows Copilot will appear here to the right hand side as a sidebar docked um, to the right of your desktop where it won't overlap with your desktop content and will run um, unobstructed alongside your open apps and windows according to Microsoft. Now, um, if we just focus a little bit more on um, what um, Copilot can actually do in this first preview, and um, you can ask uh, Windows Copilot a range of questions or take actions such as, and this, and these are the first kind of um, actions that Copilot now can do um, that are being tested now um, in the Dev Channel. So you can ask it questions like, you can change to dark mode, turn on do not disturb, take a screenshot, summarize this website, write a story about a dog who lives on the moon, uh, make me a picture of a serene koi fish pond with lily pads. So basically, as mentioned, it's centralized AR, uh, very similar to the uh, uh, the new Bing chat bot chat GPT that's available for the new Bing. So that's basically coming to the desktop. And uh, um, as mentioned, this uh, should be rolling out later this year in the 23H2 feature update. And um, Windows Copilot is a centralized AI assistant that at the end of the day, when it does roll out with 23H2, will um, replace the digital um, Cortana assistant. And I have actually posted a video on uh, Microsoft, um, their, their timeline when they will be deprecating Cortana. And also I'll also leave a link to that uh, down below because Microsoft is planning to replace the Cortana app with Windows Copilot. So that's it. Uh, Copilot now officially available in preview for official testing with this week's uh, latest Dev Channel build 23493. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.